Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be doing some data recovery from a disk image inside uh, Linux and I'm using Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, or Linux Mint actually as my forensic workstation. And before we copied, we acquired a disk image from our, our hard drive, uh, our suspect disk connected to a, uh, uh, a write blocker. And now I have this suspect disk image, and it's a, about a 4.1 gigabyte uh, suspect disk image. And I'm inside, I've opened up a uh, terminal or a command prompt, and I'm inside the cases001 images001 folder. And if we look at the directory, and in Linux, um, we list the directory using ls, ls, and that shows me all of the uh, files inside this folder. So ls-lha shows me a little bit more information about um, this this directory. Uh, so here we have um, one image, the image file inside, and it's a DD image or a raw disk image, and uh, total uh, about 3.8 gigabytes. Okay, so right now we're just in the same directory, and we are going to use uh, the sleuth kit the sleuth kit, um, newer versions, I believe it's above version four, have a tool called TSK underscore recover. And TSK recover basically uses sleuth kit tools to be able to uh, go through a disk image and look for allocated and unallocated it, uh, files and recover the data from those files. Um, the way sleuth kit works is very interesting and if we have time uh, uh, later, we might go into it a little bit more in depth. Um, but for now, let's just use the tool TSK Recover, which is a relatively easy way to recover your data. Um, in Windows, we were using uh, PhotoRec, and PhotoRec also works in Linux. Uh, PhotoRec will be installed by default in most uh, Linux forensic distributions, uh, but the Sleuth Kit will also be installed in those distributions. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this. So right now I'm in this the directory with um, with my image.dd, and that's the image that I want to be able to recover data from. And our command that we're going to be using is tsk underscore recover. tsk recover. Now if we do dash h, whenever you're running a command line tool, you can usually use dash h or possibly dash dash help, but I believe in, in SleuthKit it's just dash h, and that will give you uh, invalid option. Okay, so that's <laughs> If you give an invalid option, it will also give you this help menu, okay? So um, whenever you're running a command line tool, try to give it dash H or dash dash help, uh, and you might get um, uh, a help menu here. You should get a help menu. You can also use uh, the man command and man TSK recover to get more information about how TSK recover works. Uh, so we will just use here the, uh, the commands that it gives us. So we want to run the command TSK recover, okay, and then everything in these square brackets are basically optional. So as we go through here, okay, the, the main command is not optional, and we go through the image file name is not optional. You have to give it some data to actually work on, and then we also have to give it an output directory. Okay, now there's a couple different options in here that we might want to give it depending on how we're carving or how we're trying to recover some data, um, but uh, Let's let's uh, look at each of those in turn. So first, I'll type TSK recover, okay, and then we go through the options. So uh, I is the image type. What well, we do know our image type. Um, if we do I here, it says use I dash I list for supported types. So if we do TSK recover dash I list, hit enter. These are all of the types that it supports. Okay, so um, R image is actually just a raw disk image, but it also supports several other file types. Um, yeah, so some so several other file types. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear this. Okay, so we are going to run uh, TSK recover, uh, TSK recover, and then dash I, and my image type is raw, I know, because it's a DD image. Um, uh, the the device sector size uh, we don't actually we do know this because it was in our um, it was in our documentation remember we've already seen this before I believe this was uh, 512 bytes 
Um, however, I'm not going to set this right now. This is optional, so I'm going to make this as easy as possible. Um, file system type. Uh, we do know the file system type as well. Uh, it was FAT32, but I'm also not going to set the file system type. And uh, TSK is pretty good now about um, detecting detecting file systems and, and, and partitions and things like that. I'm going to leave these two to blank, even though I, I know both of them, just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, verbose output, um, what, how many messages do we want, basically? Uh, printing the version of the tool. Um, and then dash A, recover allocated files only. Well, we don't want to recover allocated files only. That would recover only the files that are currently allocated in the system, which I could have recovered directly from the uh, USB stick. Um, e, recover all files, allocated and unallocated. And this is really what I want to go for. This is similar to how uh, uh, PhotoRec works, where it's recovering allocated and unallocated. Remember, PhotoRec had the option to collect, uh, to basically look at the whole disk or free space. Um, and this is kind of the same option here. So we will do dash E. So I'm going to add this dash E option. Okay. Uh, sector offset, sector offset for a volume to recover. Um, and we don't want to recover only a particular volume, although we could. Um, in this case, uh, if we give it an offset to a volume, it will recover only uh, that partition or only that volume that we give it. So if there's multiple partitions on the disk, it will focus only on that one, which is useful sometimes, but in our case, we want to carve everything now or recover everything. Uh, dash D and then the drive inum is the directory inum to recover from. So in this case, we can give it uh, um, basically this inum uh, that points specifically to uh, that points to a specific directory inside the disk image okay so we're basically saying i want to carve data out of only this folder inside this partition notice we have to use it with the dash o uh, option so um, in this case we have to give it basically the locate the starting location for our partition and then we give it the uh, directory inum or the 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 identifying number for a directory that we want to carve directly out of. So you can be quite specific on these things if you only want to carve uh, files out of a certain location. However, we want to carve everything. So we want to carve everything and we want to carve allocated and unallocated. So we're going to say TSK recover dash I, which is the image type. And then we want to say raw, which isn't necessary exactly because TSK should, or the sleuth kit should be able to uh, detect our image type, but I'm just putting that to make sure. And dash E says recover all files, allocated and, unalloc and unallocated. And then we need to give it the image name. And my image name is image.dd. Okay. And then the output directory. My output directory is dot, 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 temp. Okay. So what this does is this, these two dots. Right now I'm inside. Uh, the zero, uh, cases 001 images 001 folder. So dot dot basically moves us up to images. Dot dot moves us into 001. And then I want to go inside this uh, case folder into the temp directory. So let's see what that looks like um, as a uh, file structure. So right now we are inside the images folder inside 001. So if I do dot dot, that basically goes up one. I do dot dot again, that goes up one again and then I want to go inside the temp folder. So all of my data should be saved inside this temp folder. So I'm gonna keep that open and just minimize it, okay? So now um, we have our image, we have specified what type of image it is, and we specified the output location. So let's go ahead and do this. So now I've started it. And I don't know if you can hear, but my fan is spun up and it's recovered a lot of files. Okay, let's go into the temp, the temp folder. So now it's recovered all of these files from uh, my USB stick. And that actually looks like um, about all of the images that I had in there. Notice they have their own uh, names because they were uh, allocated in this case. Uh, we have a Python script. We have system volume information, which is a Windows um, folder that Windows automatically creates. And then we have a bunch of different emails from the Enron uh, email thing. And we recovered all of the data. Now, most of this, most, not all, but most of it, 
uh, was allocated. Let's see if we can find anything that wasn't. Yeah, it looks like pretty much everything was allocated here. So all of this data was recovered from the disk image, and now I have this data available on my forensic workstation. There's a, a lot of different things I can do from here. Um, I could start to analyze all of this data. I could start to search it for strings, search it for viruses, um, basically just look through all of this uh, either manually or with tools. Um, what I'm going to do right now, though, is uh, show, let's see. So whenever we were using Windows, so now I'm inside the directory, I can see all of these, um, these uh, images. Um, I'm going to open up one of these images. Let's say 58.jpg. I'm going to open up one of these images with a hex editor just so we can see again. So one thing we talked about whenever we were using Windows um, was how does this carving work? And carving using TSK Recover uh, works a little bit differently. Basically, we're, we're looking through all the um, the file system, They're parsing out the file system directory and looking at the file system. Um, but the way that we recover data using like PhotoRec, one of the ways that they have, is looking at these magic numbers or this uh, file header for JPEG data. Where is it? About there. So here, this is an identifier that starts a JPEG image. And then if we scroll down, uh, FFD9 is what ends the image. So basically, we can look through an entire disk, find uh, where the image starts, copy everything in the middle, um, and then until we get to the end, and then put the, all of this data into a file, and we will have a valid JPEG image as long as there's not fragmentation. Now, TSK Recover is working a little bit differently than that. Um, we're actually going through uh, and, and parsing the file system, but um, that's uh, essentially how we can use TSK Recover against a disk image to recover um, some of the files that are in there.